a lot of architecture sites um, are pretty much invaluable. But when you have an architecture without any one in the past, it's hard to figure out what is needed. So in this uh, lesson, we're going to go ahead and create a site. You see I'm already generating topos. And we're just going to go through uh, adding that and matching that with this site design that we have here. And uh, so I have my little bounding box to, to, to keep things sort of one way. And so uh, what I could do is saying, you know, I really want this area to sort of be sloping down in. So I'm clicking on this, this top one and I'm going to come up six inches. And just, you know, let's come this one. Let's go down six inches. And this could go down um, negative 12 inches. This could go down negative 18 inches. And this could go down uh, negative 24 inches. And what you could do with these, and I'm just making like a temporary topography, which I'll now um, make a new layer called A, just uh, actually site 3D. And I'll just put my tuple lines contours. And just select these, change these here. And then I'll just make a layer for my topography. And the way I create a topography is by using the command patch. So I'm using all these curves and I'm setting a decent size point spacing of two, UV spans 25, 25, distance of um, this amount. I'm going to preview that. And so you see it's coming down sort of that amount. It won't uh, overlap the site too much. Obviously, it's, I want it to be, be lower than the site. And sort of accept those. And so that topography will be in this layer. Okay. And so what we could do now is, uh, and I'm, I'm sort of fine with sort of leaving it. Like I know it's it's coming down for me. Now it helps me when I start thinking about taking these surfaces and and pushing them. So so this surface I could come down, and I'll keep that solid. I'm just sort of extruding that curve. Is my function P for that. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's solid. I'm going to press S. I'm going to come down uh, a foot. And now I'll just create my stairs. And one of the ways I'll do my stairs uh, to simplify is uh, I don't want to just extrude little blocks out, but I'd rather have like a little, you know, nice little pattern. And so what I'm going to do is each one of them is coming down maybe uh, four inches. I'm going to turn my O snap back on. Um, I'll just be clicking this, coming down four. I'll turn my ortho on. Clicking this, coming down four. Clicking this, coming down four. Clicking this, coming down four inches. Clicking this, coming down four inches. And I'll uh, pretty much just be done with that. And just come up a little bit four inches for the top. And so take this and um, actually, we don't have to really do that connection actually. I'll just lower it, I'll remember to lower it. And so I've made these very sort of shallow steps, so more of a design aesthetic here. Come over here, come all down 12 inches and connect this with here. I'm gonna join that. Now, one thing I wanna do is of course fillet this final edge here and so that's going to be my profile for my stair. It's a bit thick, but I want to bring it back up. Come up six inches. And what I'm going to do now is just rotate that uh, 90 degrees. And so the, you know, the gimbal tool is, is very useful because of its ease and sort of navigating everything. But I'm, I'm now going to turn off my project to locate that stair. Make sure I'm using that point. But uh, like you see, I have like my area where I want my, my patio to be in. And, and so I see that uh, based on my site divisions, this doesn't need to go that deep. So um, I'm fine to just very simply um, um, even sort of if I, I saw my sketches going down too low. I want to be over the site. Uh, maybe I'll stop my steps here. 
and maybe this is going to be the location of where my pool will start at. So um, don't worry, that's that's not too hard. I'm going to hide this surface. Uh, essentially, I'm saying that I want uh, to sort of get rid of this particular element. Um, and if I show it, I'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So I want to maybe have this as a solid walk-in, right? I could do that, right? And so uh, it would should be doing this, and uh, you pull that up with the perpendicular. Take this point that I don't need. I can delete it. And so now it's a simple walkway that started, and this is where I'm now pulling down that pool patio. And uh, just want to make sure I'm hitting the right point as well. And if I want to say uh, again, this is this is a pool. I can start to show a little bit of the structure underneath. So if I offset uh, about six inches, that will help my the pool wall. I can also come down afterwards, go down maybe five feet um, for my, my my pool wall. But I could start the top of this and just uh, come down um, maybe. 24 inches. Um, I'm just me not showing too much, you know, going too much into detail for everything. Uh, this one actually is a little bit higher because obviously I did not lower it, but it doesn't matter. I'm, I can come on down and pull it down, right? And I can uh, use a Boolean function, Boolean difference. I subtract this from here. And uh, what I can do again, because my walls go down a little lower than this. Um, it's where I can um, be taking these and going down five feet, right? And uh, could be placing that a little lower and just make sure that it hits that that perpendicular. Turn off the near because I definitely want to be more precise with this. Um, yeah, we can just measure to find that distance that we're going down so we can be precise. One foot. So that's down with one foot. And then just come down here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it from the paste and I'm going to subtract it. And actually, I'm going to subtract it a little bit lower than the patio because I would say that would be like a different material, right? So I'm going to come down negative six inches both my copy and the the original negative six and i'm going to subtract or do a boolean difference and subtract this or use to keep this um <laughs> let's do that again so we're, we're going to subtract from here i'm going to use this piece right so now that little shell and we're going to put that wall there and what i'm also going to do then i'm going to take uh, this now. I'll just copy that to. Actually, we can even uh, copy this base here and just take that base and come down 12 inches. All right, so now we have this site, this little walkway to the pool. And what we're going to do is come over here and have this walkway do like this secondary, secondary set. And so um, this one we can sort of develop again that similar way. We just come and uh, now we have like a little clearer idea of how far we're getting. Um, and I, I can even uh, just start with this. And I also, again, you're not limited to what we're, what we're, what we're doing here is uh, Go ahead and just close this. I'm going to join it, close that curve, and it was a little bit problematic here. Um, and uh, <coughs> so join these. I'm going to close it. And take that point. And move it to this edge again. We're on project, so we don't have to worry about things sort of getting in the way. And I'm going to move this down to this level. 
and then we're going to be working on a little more with the site as we integrate that. So we probably want to turn the site back on, but we're working on figuring that topography out with this. So now I have my 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 set here where I'm working with at my my pool, and my pool needs to subtract out from the topo. topo. And it's not that big of a problem to subtract the topo. Um, I very simply could uh, just just like I have with my project, um, I just have my my projecting uh, lines, and I just could create a polyline around all the area that I want to subtract out and simply close this also uh, I could leave areas that I am fine to keep from the inside of it as well so I could be selecting um, this area and this area I can always project that uh, to uh, this surface. And so what I could do is just be splitting that surface with these lines. And so I'll pretty much just remove those. And if I want to keep it, maybe for later, again, I can always untrim it uh, to restore the surface. Um, but I'm going to put that in the remove. And I'll just change up the glare and just hide those and when I say untrim uh, untrim is a curve function you can always uh, choose an edge and restore it I'm gonna undo that but now I have my site trimmed out by that nice sort of gradient um, and now I just want to have just a few steps I really don't even need that many obviously uh, the site is is uh, large enough to, to avoid that uh, and so we, we were doing our nice, you know, flowing shallow steps. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just just ex subtract from uh, this one or that main patio. I'll just do my Boolean subtract for that stair. And I'm just going to do like a light little step down into here. And what I'll do here, um, do I, I can just sort of take it down uh, I think I'm very interested in sloping part of this and uh, one way I could do that is just by splitting this set of lines uh, for this using here and again remember this is all in my sketch layer I'll have to take it off a little bit later uh, <coughs> I'm gonna close that curve and I'm gonna close this curve and uh, this curve right now, a little walkway, I can hold that down just to simplify. Uh, make sure to turn off project. Uh, we could just, again, take this down right here. And I'm going to execute the curve down, negative 12 inches. Or I think it's context sensitive for how far it goes down but uh, <coughs> so I'm taking this one and uh, what I do is choose that edge that edge come down negative six so now this one is you know this one is um, sloping and I'll move this down I'll do a P so negative 12 or 12 because it's already going in my direction and now all I need to do is get this set of points down to here. <coughs> and I can also just measure how, how much that would be. <coughs> I see that's six inches. <coughs> and again, I, I, I want to have my set of stairs. So uh, I might even just come down and take this. And so I can at least get two sets of eight could take this down negative two inches okay and now I just really really need two steps and then this patio and so I'm gonna have my little aesthetic there so I can create that using project 
or I come over here to here to four come back over here come down to <coughs> and that would uh, I'm sorry I meant to do four so that's my eight going down that's that I would need and uh, it's not as as many and maybe I will pull the other part out and then I want to come down maybe 12 and I could just pull that up over here and I don't even have to do the slope everywhere but okay so that's where I'm locating it okay so I got to come over here do 90 pull that and like I said, I can move that over, so that's actually not as conflicting. And so, I like, I would have like a nicer sort of aesthetic feel to that. And again, if you start seeing the site being too high, I can always fix that a little bit later. Okay, so I pull that all the way over to here, <coughs> and it's still looking like it's might be going down too much um, I'm all I'm, I'm very fine to then either say you know I can adjust the site you know as, as if I um, or I could sort of lift it up but I really want to have this coming out so I'm gonna move this 12 inches but I want this step I really want this step so um, this which is going up uh, a certain amount Um, <coughs> then do my distance. That's going down four inches. Um, again, I was showing you sort of that distance. Again, we the the way the site is, it's it's definitely making it easy, which is nice. Um, so I can actually just sort of uh, it's it's good for this not to be too low. Um, so what I could do is even just to sort of excise this sort of uh, or make it uh, just a little bit of maybe a, a tray but because of how this is set up I can always I can just lower this make it a four and don't worry about the site we're gonna work on that a little bit later um, but in general we have now an uh, updated site plan that uh, we can now start to sort of articulate but it's a beautiful way to um, put into your site uh, and create more beautiful uh, overall work we're gonna actually work on this this sort of uh, facade over here a little bit so we can have like a little exit as well and so I'm gonna do that and that's gonna be uh, give us more of our final working with this uh, design.